What's good, YouTube? Um, quick announcement. This may or may not be the last time you see this temporary setup. Hopefully, I can bring you a blog on my new and improved gaming room. I don't know. We'll find out. Uh, I can show you Alex's as well. Hers is in the making as well. So, you know, this temporary setup. One of these times, you'll see a different setup. That's all I'm going to say. I don't know when. Um... We might talk about that some other time, but right now, let's get on to the Colossal Fam Jam review. Uh, round one is done, and uh, we're getting ready to start round two. So today, we're going to be talking about new rules and effect, and we're going to pull na uh, names of the map, and then who goes against who. Um, <clears throat> so, Glizzy Goblins first for Bob, which is Jake versus Gigi's team. Um, I really thought that was going to get to a round three. I really did. Um, but um, for Bob, pulled out a victory on Shoot House 6-5, to five, as you can see right here. Let me go ahead and uh, do this. So right here you can see a 6-5 to five win and then beat them on Hackney Yard 6-3. to three. Um, It was 2-0. This is, mainly this is just for me to keep, Everything that's needed. Um, for Bob goes on to be 1-0. Glizzy drops to the loser bracket 0-1. Um, and as you see, the first matchup that was posted was Team Murdoch versus Team Marcus. Uh, we beat them 6-4 on Ramaza, then 6-5 on Crash with some really bad lag. So I'm, I'm glad we um, we actually pulled out that win, not going to lie. I don't, like, I don't mind losing, I just don't like losing when it's lag. Um, lags literally the the worst thing ever. So we move on to the winners bracket. So we could be facing Gigi's team or one of the ones that are in the winners bracket. Um, and then we got Hollow Circus, which is J4 versus Cheech and Chong, which is um, J4 versus J4's team versus uh, Tokes' team. Um, yeah, Tokes. Tokes, uh, he pretty well took control of the, both maps. 6-1 uh, on Scrapyard, 6-2 on Gunrunner. And it was a hell of a matchup. Um, it was definitely a hell of a matchup. They go on 1-0. And finally, we had a 3-2 match, which, or yeah, 2-1 map, sorry. Um, after the Snakes first keep it 100, the only game that went three rounds, uh, Gunrunner, Livestock, and Shoot House, uh, keep it 100, really put it to him on Gunrunner, um, that would be Pox team versus, uh, Goy Boy's team, which is Ethan, so Pock versus Ethan, Ethan's team, um, well, had some really bad lag on Gunrunner, and I was almost getting ready to redo the map too. Uh, having keep it 100 up 1-0 on that because of how bad the lag was on Afro's end. He was rubber banding. Uh, we ended up postponing that map 3 on Shoot House. And I think it was a good call because Afro did not lag that last round. And he showed what he can actually do. Um, Afro Snakes takes map 2 and 3, 6-5, six, 6-4 six, as you can see right here. Um, to put them in the winner's bracket. Now, with that being said, here is what the new rules are going to be in effect. If you guys remember watching for Bob versus Glizzy, it was Dwyer or Dyer versus two of them each each round, each beginning of the round. So what's gonna happen if it is a 1v2 in the first round because of the teams getting screwed up? I'm going to make it where I'm going to make it where they end up they can forfeit not forfeit but they can they can back out and we can restart it. If you do not feel comfortable in a 1v2, all you have to do is back out. You just back out. That's it. That's all you got to do. If you feel comfortable in a 1v2 and you play it out, all right, there it is. You're going to play it out. Um, I don't think the first round like that is going to affect anything, um, but it could. You can see you see how many times it went to a 6-5 situation. 
Now getting later into the tournament, I feel like this is a good rule to have because if you do not feel comfortable, do not take that chance. That way, you can we can just restart it and hopefully get our teams the way they need to be. And the reason that is, I don't feel like, again, if it comes down to a, a 1v1 in round 11, which is for the win, you know, that one round that you didn't feel comfortable with could cost you. So if you don't feel like you can do the 1v2, back out, we'll reset the map. That's all that is. Um, I just want everyone to know that. And last but not least, this is for mainly for the last game played. Um, when you're the last game to be played, we need to get it done. So I'll ask everybody, all four of them who's in the last map, when you are going to be ready. And if everyone agrees on one day, I'm going to schedule it. And no matter what happens, it's that day. Unless there's a freaking dire emergency, it'll be that day. If the team shows up, it's either going to be a 2v1 or you can forfeit. And if you're in a loser's bracket, that's not a good sign. So loser bracket, I suggest you get yours done first. Get yours done before anyone else can get theirs done. Because as much as I want this to be a patient, decently long tournament matchup, I also need the matches to get done. I can record 20 matches in a day. I don't care. But it needs to get done. Um, and that's not, I'm not shooting names out or anything. It's just, it needs to get done. So let's just try to work together. I know this is a big tournament with a 2v2 tournament. You got to have both members on both sides ready. And, and it's going to be, I know it's hard. Um, so I want to keep these 2v2 tournaments going. Because this is a lot of fun. I'm not gonna lie. I'm having a blast doing this. But um, other than that, that's the rule set. If you're down by one player in the first round because of the team being switched up, don't feel comfortable. Back out. We'll reset the map. If you play it on, it doesn't matter after that. I don't want to hear excuses. That's that's the rule. And if you're the last team to go, the last four teams. I don't think it's always fair because one team might be ready over the other team. I get that, but we need to schedule. We need to work together and get this done together. This is a together tournament, all right? Fam jam, we're colliding with the fam a little bit, so let's just work together and get it done. That's it. Now let's get into pulling the names of the maps. I'm not pulling people yet. I'm pulling names, so let's get started. You see my... Uh, my setup going here. Look, all I'm gonna say is I'm still not good at this whole Photoshop, so just uh, just give me a, a minute to get back into it. All right, I'm not very good at it. So the first map we're gonna have is Hackney Yard. That's not a bad one, I don't think. Why is it? Uh, I'll fix that here. Wow. Okay, get the caps off. Yeah, make fun of me, YouTube. First map is Hackney for this round. And if we get him twice, we're going to... Freaking advertisements. If we get him twice, we're going to go ahead and just not choose it. You'll see. We're not going to have Hackney, Backlot, Hackney or something. We're going to make sure it's, it's Ramaza. Look at that. So there's our first round. Or... Yeah, whoever's on top of the board here. Whoever gets picked first. Those are the maps you're going to be on. Honestly, that looks like a really good good matchup to me. All right, we're going to go down to the shoot house for this one. And I do this that way you guys understand. I'm not I'm not picking the maps, all right? This is this is just random. Yeah, see, we ain't we ain't doing shoot house two in a row. No. I'm not gonna gun runner. Whoops. Yeah. I wonder how backlot's gonna be. That's gonna be a fun one, I think. And damn, Ramaza seems like it's just gonna be a, a good round three. I don't like that. Ramaza's tough. I'm not gonna lie. 
Ramal's on a 2v2. All the maps I've picked, I think Ramal's is the toughest. Look at that, livestock right off the bat, off the loser bracket. That's a good one. That's a good one for a loser bracket. I like that. I like that. I don't have to worry about it. That's the other that's the other thing I'm getting at. Scrapyard. Oh my god. Two good maps back to back. That's gonna be it. That's gonna be a fun. Whoever gets this bracket right here, y'all gonna have some fun. And Hackney Yard to close it out. I can I can I can get down with that one. That one should be a good one. Whoever gets in this bracket. I think you got a good list. So good luck. Good luck, whoever's in here. And we're going to find out today. Look at that. Finally. We didn't see backlog at all last last round. Now we got it twice. Now we got it twice. That's awesome. That's awesome. And crash. Oh, I feel sorry. Whoever got this one, I feel sorry for you. I don't, I don't, I don't condone this one. <clears throat> I honestly don't see my team getting to the, holy shit. They really like that. No, sh no shoot house. Oh yeah, we do have a shoot house. Oh my God. I can't type. <clears throat> so there's your freaking matches right there. Hackney, Backlot, Ramaza, Shoothouse, Gunner, Ramaza, Livestock, Scrapyard, Hackney Yard, Backlot, Crash, and Ramaza. That's awesome. That's awesome. We're getting all the maps this time. We literally got all the maps. That's what I like seeing. Last round, we didn't even get... We didn't even get Backlot. So, let's do um, the winner bracket first. Now, I'm not going to type in everyone's. Everyone's. Um, that way, everyone knows who, who's who. Uh, let's see. Um, how did I do that? Blue. All right, let's do blue again. That sounds good. See, it's not blue, you fucking... There we go. Alright, here we go. Picking a random name. Who's going to get Hackney, Backlot, Ramaza? Now, this is your this is your team that's in the winner's bracket. Alright? It's all going to be random. So let's find out who's going to get the top bracket here. It is... Tokes. So that is... Whoops. Cheech and Tong. So that will be... Um, Tokes. That will be Tokes and... Cowboy. Sorry. Let's take him out. And who gets to go against Cheech and Chong? We're about to find out right now. Whew, I'm a little nervous. Team Ethan! Oh! The trash talk was already started. And here it is. It'll be Afro Snakes. They were talking. They said, oh, you better get in the winner's bracket because I'm going to knock you to the loser bracket. Yada, yada, yada. I could not. I love it. Let's go. That only means that Team Murdoch may fall to the loser bracket because we got to go against four Bob. This is going to be a fun matchup. Shoot house gun runner. I don't think we're making it to Ramaza, but we'll see. There's your winner's bracket set up. There it is. Cheech and Chong versus Afro Snakes on Hackney. Backlot. Ramaza. Team Murdoch versus 4 Bob against on Shoot House. Gunrunner. Ramaza. That's your winner's bracket, everybody. Holy.
Holy shit. Now let's see what happens with our What the hell? Who is uh Oh, uh J4. So let's see who goes against each other in the loser bracket. Now before we get started on this, this is going to be a tough matchup in the loser bracket. We have some really close teams. So let's see. No. We have Team Marcus. Oh boy. And they go against <laughs> Team J4. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hollow Circus will go against Marcus. And it's sad to say, but keep it 100. We'll have to face what well, is supposed to be one of the top teams in this tournament. Glizzy Goblins. And I'm going to say this right here. Our primetime matchup for this week will be Cheech and Chong. Versus Afro Snakes, because that is going to be a clash right there. It is going to be insane. This is your matchup. This, oh man, I'm, I'm super excited. This round two is absolutely insane. Absolutely insane, guys. Cheech and Chong versus Afro Snakes is definitely going to be prime time. Let me um, let me go ahead. No, whoa, whoa, whoa. Let me go ahead and put some put some stars on this. So everyone knows this is a prime time matchup. Prime time. Cheech and Chong versus Afro Snakes. Team Murdoch versus Four Bob. Team Marcus versus Hollow Circus. Keep it 100 versus Glizzy Goblins. Wow! I did not see that happening. Holy shit. I feel for Keep It 100 and Glizzy because one of those are one of the two two very good teams in this matchup. Team Marcus and Hollow Circus. That one's going to be a, an entertaining to watch. Those guys are very good at making content. So I really hope to see them guys pull out some funny ass content, honestly. And I'm probably going to see you guys in a loser bracket next round. Team Murdoch versus 4 Bob. I do not think we're going to beat them. Viper and Gigi's just too much. But the winner of that will face the winner of Cheech and Chong. Cheech and Afro, I should say. So that's going to be a awesome, awesome winner's bracket set up already. It's going to be a fun one, guys. I, I hope you guys stay tuned. There's your round two matchups. Holy hell. I'm excited. I hope you guys are too because this is going to be some... This Round 2 is probably going to be the best round possible. Holy hell. I'm, I'm honestly stoked. I'm honestly stoked. I, I, I can't get more happy than this. This is crazy. This is... Oh man. I just... I'm a little I'm a little nervous. A little nervous um going against GG and Viper. Uh we scrimmaged them and lost both matches we scrimmed against. So Wow. This is uh this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be fun. I hope you guys are uh
Hope you guys are excited. Sorry, I'm just saving stuff right now. That is your matchup. Tell me what you guys think. Tell me your predictions. I want to know. I actually want to know. I really want to know your guys' predictions. Let's look at this in a better, better version here. There you go. A little bit bigger screen. I'm definitely nervous. I'm definitely nervous. So, um, good luck, everybody. Again, this is for content. Good luck. I know I'm going to need it. But um, for everyone else who's in the matchup, you know, again, this is for content. Yes, it is for a little bit of money, but you didn't have to pay to get in. So, good luck. Good luck. And uh, everyone that's in this tournament, it's already got a, a free free pass to the next tournament. I will invite everyone once again to the next tournament after this tournament's over with. So losers, loser bracket, if you lose, please do not get upset. Don't get pissed off. It is just a game. All right? Just, just play it, you know? Just have fun. Don't get mad. Don't be one of them salty losers. I've had I had players in the past be salty losers. They don't get they don't get a next next round pass to my next tournament. So just have fun, enjoy yourselves, and just make content. That's all I'm asking. So um, I'll see you guys in the next round and uh, good luck. YouTube, make your predictions. I have mine, but I ain't gonna say mine until I'm out the tournament. So good luck, everybody.